Duels are done. Now it's time for high school wrestlers to go solo. The individual tournament, the big one kicks off at nine this morning, being, bringing big crowds to town. Ah, oh, the energy, you can feel it. Mm -hmm. This will be the last year, though, that boys and girls will be competing together. KCCI's mm -hmm. Bo Bowman is live at Wells Fargo Arena with a look at what we can expect today. Good morning, Bo. Good morning, Alex. All eight mats are set up and ready to go for the traditional tournament, the state wrestling tournament. Class 2A kicks off at 9 o'clock, but all eyes are on Class 3A's Waverly Shellrock, the first team in state history to qualify all 14 of their varsity wrestlers. They won the team portion state duels last night with a walk-off pin in the heavyweight bout against Southeast Pole. And while their team this year could be considered the greatest of all time, they are even more excited for next season. It'll be the first year of girls wrestling will be a sanctioned sport in the state of Iowa. Waverly Shell Rock was one of the first in the state to have a girls team. We spoke with one of their future wrestlers yesterday as she cheered on the boys team. She says she can't wait to be wrestling in her own state tournament next year. I was like, about time. I, I was just really excited and happy that they finally sanctioned it and it got to the point where, yes, this is a real sport. Yes, everyone wants to do it and it's growing. Now that change doesn't happen until next year, so this year is the last time girls can com compete alongside the boys. That three of them qualified for the state tournament this year, including Atumwa's uh, Jasmine Ludke. That all starts today at 9 with Class 2A. We're live at Wells Fargo Arena. Bo Bowman, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.